Hi, right, I'm going to be uh, showing you how to get started with Foreskin. It's uh, 2023. Um, first thing you want to do is open up Google Chrome. You want to head over to uh, foreskin.org. Okay, once you're there, you want to go over to the uh, products portion here. You want to download this top one here onto a Windows device, um, be it a uh, Surface or a laptop. Um, once you have that downloaded, you want to go ahead and uh, open up Foreskin. This is what it will look like. Okay, so this is very important. You want to head down here to this uh, steering wheel. This hardware ID number, you're going to want to copy that to your clipboard. You want to go back over to Foreskin webpage here. Click on the Get Free Extended License. Okay, I know this is a little quick. Um, I can slow it down uh, later on in the video. Uh, you want to enter in all your information here, your email address, your name that hardware ID you want to copy and paste it into here you submit it now they will email you in about half an hour or so with a link okay um, the link will download another file your license key to your computer more than likely into your download section so you want to go back here to users this is where I find mine download this is my license I'm going to enter in that license here okay it reloads and uh, we'll go back down here extended license registered to myself okay now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what happens now when I connect my car here and how to get it connected I'll put my accessories on put this in here to the laptop okay if you're here we're going to connect to the vehicle with this little symbol down in the bottom left hand corner Make sure it is in the HS can position. Ignition keys on. Okay. Yes. Now, if if it's not in the right position, yes, it does. Now I'm gonna switch it over to the MS. Okay. Now it's reading everything. Now, if this, if you don't have it in the right spot, you will have red circles with X's in them up here. And that's just because you don't have it in the right spot. Now, um, also in this video, I'm going to show you. Um, I I just have some uh, what I think are some issues with my uh, shifting of my transmission. So. I've already done it. Um, I haven't really tried it out yet. I haven't gone anywhere, but um, you want to go over to this wrench and then you see your clear transmission adaptive tables. Um, from what I've been reading, these are your tables that your transmission learns from your driving habits. Now my transmission seems to rev out a lot like high RPMs before it wants to um, change gears. So I'm hoping this will um, help it out. Um, I already did it. If you want to do it, you hit the play button here. Suppose I could do it again. Hit the play button. Um, click OK. Put it back in the HS. Okay, it's in the HS. Now it's, you see the blue bar on the bottom of the screen. It's doing its thing here. Service procedure completed successfully. Um, that's about it. Okay, my computer's gonna die here. So, uh, yeah. Um, so 
about it. Um, any questions? Leave a comment. This is what I'm using here is a uh, ELM three two seven with the MS and HS switch. I had a uh, Bluetooth, but it didn't work so good. So uh, this is what I'm uh, using here for my videos. Works good.